The rice water weevil is a major pest of rice, and the population this year appears as large as ever. Researchers aren't sure what caused the increase in weevils, but damage is already noticeable in some fields. If you look across a field that has excessive amounts of damage, you'll see these white stripes on the leaves of the rice plants. And that's really what you're going to be looking for. Growers also can scout their fields for the adult weevils. The females wait for the rice fields to flood to lay their eggs. The larvae will hatch out of those eggs and then they'll go down and start feeding on the roots of the plant. And that's really what causes the damage to the plant and yield loss as well. Growers who planted seeds treated with the insecticide Dermacor may still see feeding scars on the leaves of their plants, but shouldn't have a problem with larvae on the roots. Growers who didn't use Dermacor treated seeds can use a labeled insecticide. If your field is right across the levee from a crawfish pond, you have very limited options for management because of the fact that the pyrethroids that we have labeled for use in Louisiana are extremely toxic to crawfish. A granular insecticide can be used on fields near crawfish ponds. Hummel also reports that the great calaspis, an insect not seen in Louisiana rice fields in more than two decades, has damaged two fields. Calaspis is a problem in Arkansas in fields that are in a soybean and rice rotation. The larvae will actually overwinter in that soybean field, and then when you plant the rice into the field, the larvae will come up as the soil starts to warm up, come up and start feeding on the roots of the rice plant. And so you'll have death of the plant. Calaspis will cause patches throughout the field. The insect, however, will not survive a flood on the field. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.